What's up guys? It feels weird doing a tutorial now that I haven't done one in such a long time. Been doing uh, montages and gameplay and all that. But um, yeah, so I was fooling around in Mindvader. This is what uh, was used for the Minecraft Pyro uh, update for TF2 or something like that. It was a pretty cool trailer or something like that. And um, yeah, I was using this to make my own branding intro. But everything crashed and I didn't save it. <laughs> I should have, but I forgot to. But then before it crashed, I found out how to animate a TNT manually because you can't, uh, it's not automated by itself. So first, we're going to add a TNT block. The ID number is 46. And then we go to the timeline go to overlay and then first make sure you make a uh, like a original um, what, what what's it called uh, whatever yeah an original so then here's where you start basically change the color to white because that's you know realistic like how they do in uh, minecraft and then change the overlay bar to 50 let's say let's just say 50 and then put them at similar intervals. This one should be zero. This one should be 50. It doesn't really have to be 50. It can be anything you want, actually. And then let's put this back to zero. This one, 60. This one at zero. No, we should just change it to an alpha and make it disappear. And you drag them right next to each other so it looks like it explodes. You can add that to um, your like videos and all that, or for like an intro or something, and then just add the, uh, the effects to it. So yeah, that is a, t this is a tutorial t for how to manually Animate your TNT explosions in Mind Later. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you later.